Hello guys, welcome to my channel Traveler in Time, today is the story of Chishwiju Park. So let's start with a little bit of history. The park was built in 1847 at a time when Bucharest was the capital of Elechia on a site formerly known as Lacul Dura Negociatorul or simply as Dura. The pool it replaced was a popular site for fishing from as early as the 17th century and was inhabited by mallard colonies. The word Chismidiu comes from Turkish, a Chisme is a public fountain and a Chismidiu used to be the person responsible for building and maintaining public fountains. Chismidiu continued to be developed by mayor long after its official inauguration. In 1870, the horticulturist laid out a plan to redesign the lanes, to introduce an artesian aquifer and to create a kiosk for an orchestra. He also proposed to have gondolas carrying visitors over the lake. At that time, you could consider yourself privileged that you could go for a gondola ride on the lake because only people with money could afford such a pleasure. La Cetate it is the place where most young people gathered to talk and laugh. In 1756, Logofotul Vagarescu built a monastery. Inside it there was the secret tunnel that connected the Crețulescu Palace to the bank of Dumbovița. A very special place for peace and relaxation is the Romanian Round or Rondul Roman. It's a circular alley which has stone busts of 12 important Romanian writers Mihai Eminescu, Alexandru Odobescu, Tito Maiorescu, and so on. In 1852, when the whole park was fenced off, the walk on the alleys of the park could be done from sunrise until 10 pm. Exceptional were the bright summer nights when access was allowed until midnight. Horses or carriages, dogs and other animals were not allowed in the park. Chishmiju was a place of meditation where people could walk freely admiring nature.
The park was clearly delimited after Bucharest became capital of the Romanian Kingdom. During the 1860s, Bucharest was visited by the socialist activist and philosopher Ferdinand Lazale, who argued that Chijuju exceeds by far anything Germany has to offer. Once upon a time, Chijmiju was a small zoo. It housed bears, foxes, wolves, beavers, fish, swans, and many other living things. The animals were gradually removed because their care being quite expensive. This is the story of Chijmiju Park. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, Please give a thumbs up and comment for any suggestion down below. Soon we'll travel back in time again.